So I've got a uh, few cloverleaf antennas that I've picked up recently off of uh, eBay and Amazon and uh, I want to take a look at this one first because this one was the cheapest one I could find possible on eBay. It only cost £3.21 free shipping and apparently it's uh, according to the specs it's rather good. So as far as the specs go they start off okay but then they quickly descend into the uh, stupid and uh, unbelievable category but basically center frequency 5.8 gigahertz which is fine bandwidth 100 megahertz again okay but then it uh, slowly goes downhill from there axle ratio 3 dbi fine and then uh, we've got working temperature i don't know why you'd have that uh, polarization strength right hand circular polarization and then we get to gain which is uh, 15 dbi vswr less than 1.5 color gold yep uh, three blade antenna is for transmitting and then its uh, description is made of high quality rubber sleek and durable protect for transmitting interfering patented protective layer to highly resist corrosion and increase performance prevent shorts and grounds in transmission focusing on that a little bit corrosion resistance will not lead to signal fuzzy because of antenna corrosion let's have another quick look at that so yes the uh, description quickly descends into the stupid with the uh, 15 dbi of gain and the special patented corrosion protection that's on each one of those elements now of course this only cost uh, just uh, a smidgen over three pound and free shipping so you might say what do you expect for the money and uh, you know if it works does it really matter what it looks like but basically just looking at it we've got a uh, sma connector and the elements are just soldered onto the sma connector just uh, you know and hot glued in place there to hide all the uh, soldering I presume but uh, let's give this a test you know and uh, see how it performs because there are benefits from having something as short as this you know it doesn't matter what kind of coax you use even the uh, really expensive uh, low loss kind of coax you'll still have loss so you know if you can keep it as short as possible all the better so uh, let's give it a go on the uh, spectrum analyzer see if it's got that 100 uh, megahertz of uh, bandwidth and its center frequency is on uh, 5.8 gigahertz and then uh, what I'll do is bring it back to the bench carefully peel away this uh, special patented protective coating here that's uh, protecting all the solder joints and uh, we'll have a look at uh, what's underneath here see uh, you know how they've uh, managed to connect that to the uh, SMA itself so as you can see on the bench there we've got the uh, clover leaf hooked up to test on the spectrum analyzer and here's the output on the spectrum analyzer so here it is on the spectrum analyzer then I've got the uh, spectrum analyzer centered on uh, 5.847 gigahertz there so that's the middle line going down here and it's not a bad frequency response I would prefer it to be over this way a little bit but for uh, three pounds it's uh, certainly not the worst I've ever seen so you know if you purchase this it probably work out fine for you I try and uh, set your uh, transmitter um, you know a little bit higher than this maybe 5.890 gigahertz if your transmitter is able to transmit at that frequency just to take uh, better advantage of the uh, better frequency response down here but uh, overall it's not too bad at all definitely as I say not the worst I've ever seen so output on the spectrum analyzer then uh, not too bad at all and if we take a look at the basic construction of this all the elements seem nice and uniform straight we've got some uh, nice curves on here they all look to be about the uh, same size and all in proportion and it's got that hot glue here or uh, rubberized uh, patented coat in there but uh, it is quite a solid construction it's soldered in really well there so what I'm going to do now is get a bit of heat into this because it is got a kind of uh, rubber, rubbery hot glue texture to it so I'm going to try and remove this so we can see what's uh, going on underneath there and how they've connected it up to uh, this SMA connector 
So now that we can see the inside then, the soldering isn't too bad at all. You know, it's a pretty neat soldering job. I wasn't expecting it to be uh, quite as neat as this. We've even got a uh, plastic dielectric there and a uh, pin soldered in place. I was expecting something a little bit more messy, you know, possibly uh, something like heat shrink tubing separating the uh, driven element part from the uh, ground plane. But no, they've got a uh, dielectric in there and uh, what looks like to be a pin constructed out of the same material as the SMA. So it's a pretty neat job, really. I mean, maybe if they'd have just cleaned up the uh, excess solder and uh, excess uh, glue that they got on the elements, cleaned the elements up a little bit and didn't put so much exaggeration into the description, uh, people might buy a few more of these because they're a nice throwaway item. And they're not too bad at all on the spectrum analyzer so as this is a uh, short video i want to see if uh, i can modify this to get a better output on the spectrum analyzer and uh, you know bring the elements slightly closer together because we've got quite a bit of a uh, gap here and here so what i'm going to do is cut that pin down a little bit more and bring the elements closer together and see if we can get a slightly better frequency response from this so I've reduced the uh, size of the gap between uh, both ends of the element down probably by about 4 millimeters. So let's hook that up to the spectrum analyzer and see if we get a uh, better frequency response or it's uh, made it worse. So now that I've modified it slightly I've got it under test again and the spectrum analyzer is set up exactly the same way but look what it's done to the output of the antenna. It's completely changed its characteristics altogether. So just making that small modification then to uh, cut away and make the gap a little bit closer between both ends of the element has completely changed the way that this antenna works. We've got a much better frequency response, much lower and uh, you know a better VSWR just by doing that. So that small modification shaving off probably around 4 millimeters, has uh, completely changed the characteristics of this antenna. Now about that uh, little bit at the end there when I shaved off the uh, four millimeters brought the elements a little bit closer and uh, you know it looks like I've improved the antenna slightly as far as uh, frequency response and VSWR is concerned and I've had some comments on some of my other videos from uh, subscribers who've uh, been building uh, some of my designs for a while and they've gone out and purchased some of these new cheaper USB spectrum analyzers that are appearing on uh, the likes of eBay and Amazon and how it's uh, kind of taken their you know the way they uh, build their antennas now up to uh, the next level on the uh, run of the ladder if you like because uh, you can do so much by uh, measuring with a uh, ruler and cutting away with some tin snips, soldering it together. But to take it up to the next level, you really need to be uh, testing the antenna itself and making small alterations, especially when you get up to the uh, higher frequencies. 2.4 gigahertz, you can tend to get away with it most of the time, but as you start going up in the frequencies, you know, to 5.8 gigahertz, things become a lot smaller, and having something like a cheap spectrum analyzer can really help you in, uh, you know, finely tuning your uh, antenna. So for £3.25 you can't really grumble. I mean the only reason I bought this is because of the wild uh, 15 dBi of gain that uh, they were claiming with this and uh, an antenna like this you know you're not going to get uh, anything more than 3 dBi out of it but uh, an interesting antenna but uh, you know wild claims but for £3.21 it's a nice throwaway antenna. So if you did enjoy it, please give it a uh, thumbs up. Any comments or questions, drop them below and I'll do my best to answer them and hopefully you'll join me on the next one.